Hello there, Taurus. Welcome to your timeless reading. This is how to find your alignment. Okay, so whenever you have been coming across this, we need to see it. Let's start with what makes you unique. Mm, the Two of Cups, your partnership, your, your connection here. You have a very loving connection. When you connect with people, you connect on a very strong bond here. That's what makes you unique. What is your hidden potential? Page of Pentacles. You're able to learn something new quickly. I'm getting here. It's also, um, yeah, you, you pick up things very quickly and you're not afraid to get dirty. You're not afraid to um, get in the dirt here. To I don't know if are you, like you like to be in the, in the earth. You like to do something with your hands and something um, very grounding here. This also feels like, um, yeah, you, you don't mind, even if you are like the boss, the head honcho, you don't mind doing some work. You don't mind doing the, um, the, the small task even, you know. Uh, let's see. Um, how can you bring out your creativity? King of Pentacles. Look at that. Just stand in your power. This is you right away anyway. I just feel this very strongly that whoever I'm, I'm really tapping into, this is their your energy. And this is like you don't mind being the page, but you really are the king. Okay, you're very stable, very reliable. And this helps you bring out your creativity. Um to the combination of these two okay so um how can you be more of an inspiration okay we have the moon here um a lot of emotions is almost feels like go deep into your emotions don't be afraid to express yourself don't hide your emotions They're, i feel like some might have fear sometimes of being vulnerable don't because that brings out your creativity now um how can you find your compassion? Two of Wands. <laughs> Look for it. Where is it? <laughs> this one's looking for their compassion. No. This is, um... We have two and two here. You just gotta seek it and, and it will come. Just dig and it will come. Okay, um... How can you attract abundance? The King of Wands by your creativity. You're also um, you're you're meant to be a leader. If you're not a leader, you should be a leader. Don't shy away from positions that put you in the leadership role because that will bring in abundance because you are a good leader. You're very creative. Okay. Um. How can you align yourself with what you want? The Page of Swords. Seek and you will find is what I'm getting told here. That whatever you want, you can actually achieve it. You might have to learn something new. Okay, how can you step into your power fully? Knight of Swords. Just go for it. This is like, you know, I can attitude. No matter what, you can do it. And you, you can be like that, definitely. Okay, now what about the messages from your spirit guides? Knight of Cups. Okay, just do what you love and everything will come fall into place for you. Is what I'm getting with that. And we have the Page of Wands. Messages coming in. Some kind of information, some kind of message coming towards you. Okay. Two of Cups for what makes you unique. I think it's the way you're able to bond with people. The way you're able to talk to people one-on-one -on -one too. Okay, Two of Cups. The Chariot. And the, your way you're able to move quickly towards something, towards, towards someone, someone, partnerships, you're able to make things happen. That makes you unique. Now, as far as your hidden potential, this page of pentacles, the magician, yes. You're able to take something from scratch. Because the page of pentacles is new, is a novice, is something new, starting something new. You're able to take something. Look, they have, he has a key in his hand. And just start something and just manifest something huge out of it. You are the manifesto. You're the magician. You have all the tools you need to, to produce whatever you need to produce here. Okay, so now, 
how can you bring out your creativity? And we have this King of Pentacles, which is all you. The Tower. Wow. Now, this is your ability to will. Like, the, the King of Pentacles is very stable, reliable, you know, kind of reserved. <laughs> but you don't mind shocking people. You don't mind, like, getting out of that very stable, reliable reserve and shocking the crap out of people. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm feeling here. Okay, so now for how can you be more open to inspiration? And we have the moon. Very creative. Two of Pentacles. Got a lot of twos here. Bringing things together. Partnering up here. But this is like you're able to balance things. You're able to balance your emotions. You're able to balance your feelings when you need to. And that is helping you. The, it, it, you just know how to put things together is what I'm, I'm feeling. You just know how to make things work. And you're manifesting. Okay, so now, um, how can you find your compassion? And we have the Two of Wands. The Ace of Swords. This is speaking your truth. You know, there might be two different ways of doing something. And once you figure out which way you want to go, just speak your truth and go for it. We have the Cherry here. We have the Ace of Swords here. This is very empowering. Also cutting out things that don't belong. Knowing that you, if you have to pick two things and you say, okay, one has to go, one stays, you're able to do that. I think I need to move this up a little bit. Okay. You know, actually, I guess I should move this up so that I can get all the cards here. There we go. That's better. Okay. Now... The next one here is how can you attract abundance? And we have this King of Wands, your creativity, your um, leadership style. Um, this high priestess, ooh, your intuition. Wow. You know, and with the high priestess, less is more. You don't let people know what you're going up to. I don't think you do anyway. I mean, here you have the tower just surprising people. Yes, yeah, so the high priestess is very intuitive. So your intuition is going to help you create your abundance. Okay, so now, how can you align yourself with what you want? And we have the Page of Swords with the Four of Wands. This is going for what you want, learning something new, and being committed to it. You know, don't give up on it. I don't think you are. With the Knight of Swords, this is a you-can-do-attitude. The Knight of Swords does not give up. Failure is not an option with the Knight of Swords. Okay, now, the Eight, we have... How can you step into your power fully? Ooh, look at this. We have the Empress and the Emperor together. I don't know, guys. I think you are coming together with someone as a power couple here. But this is also saying that you can own your power. This is the Emperor. This is the, in charge, a leader. You have very strong leader qualities here. We have the King of Pentacles. We have the um, King of Wands. Empress, I'm um, sorry, high priest. Why did I say that? I'm thinking, I was thinking this is the Empress. I don't know. Sorry about that. High Priestess and the Emperor. Well, you're in your power. I almost feel like this is, well, this is your reading. It's nobody else. But you might be coming together with someone here, too. Look at this, the Emperor and the Magician. You are very strong, very powerful. Okay, and as far as the um, message from your guides, we have here the Knight of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. This is like holding on to what you believe here. Don't let anybody persuade you to do anything different. Do what you love and everything will fall into place. Don't let anybody say, oh, you can't do that. You know, yes, you can. You can do whatever you want to do. Don't let anybody try to persuade you to, to change what you want. Okay, on the bottom deck here, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Look what's coming in for you. The Ten of Pentacles is long-term commitment. Whatever you're doing here, whatever you're trying to achieve. And also, this could be abundance of money. You might be getting news about this soon. Either you're talking to someone, someone's coming towards you, or you're buying out something here with the Page of Wands. This is information coming in, and it could be for a commitment, whether you're trying to build um, a, a business and you're going to find out about it, or whatever it is, it's bringing the Ten of Pentacles, which is money. So money's coming in for you guys. All right, guys, I hope you like this reading. Please let me do if you Please let me know if you do. I love you guys so much. I appreciate all you like, share, subscribe, and comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.